Hercules, 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 Hercules. That's right. What's up? All right. One play. dope gaming news items for this video but before i hit you with it what do you have to do man you already know man click that thumbs up man you know you want to do it right now all right the first item we have to discuss bro i get this so much from pc dudes that half the time more than half the time don't even know what they're talking about bro Every time I bring up, man, I'm getting an Xbox Series X, man. Castle about to be lit, bro. Here comes the PC elitist. Oh, I'm just going to be playing on my PC, which is infinitely times more powerful than your measly console. What if I told you that when the Xbox Series X launches, it's more than likely more powerful than your PC boy and I already know what you're saying oh, LB1 you don't know what you're talking about you're not a PC analyst you didn't go to school for this stuff I didn't <laughs> but he did <laughs> listen to what Richard Ledbetter says not once but twice concerning the Xbox Series X and PCs let me mute the music bro watch this because it has been confirmed that we are looking at a 12 teraflop GPU, 12 teraflop, which okay. is pretty enormous because, um, well, that is going to be a GPU that's more capable than anything that AMD has produced with Navi in the PC space. You heard that? It's going to be more powerful than anything AMD has ever produced in the Navi space for PCs. That's what he said right there. But he's not done yet. Listen to this one. This is about 30 seconds. Check really out what he interesting says. Stuff. And Listen. it's interesting that you're talking about uh, Microsoft uh, getting hold of a GPU with features that aren't yet available in the PC space. All right. First he's saying a GPU that's not available in the PC space yet. And now, then he continues. Something else, which the blog has, has kind of revealed. Something which, else? Um, on the face of it, you know, doesn't seem that big, but actually, I think it's very significant. They, um, we've got Phil Spencer there specifically saying that the GPU is using RDNA 2.0. RDNA 2.0 um, 2 on that seven nanometer um, um, architecture. Now, watch this. Watch what he says about it. Technology, which isn't available in the G in the uh, PC space at the moment. Is it um, even available in the PC space at the moment? And also um, kind of flies in the face of a lot of the rumors out there, which kind of assumed that it was RDNA 1. Point. Right, and so he's talking about that it's RDNA 2 with that, with that architecture. He basically said, not once, but twice, that the technology yeah, that's found two, in the Xbox Series X is not even available in PCs yet. I think there's only one or two NVIDIA graphics cards out on the market that can compete with, that can even compete with the Xbox Series X at the moment. Not me. This is what these dudes are saying. Dudes that analyze this stuff, you know what I'm saying? I just want to play the games. I'm a smart dude. But I don't know about like technology, like this, the ins and outs of this stuff. I leave it up to the pros. And so you can't say, oh, Obi-Wan said that the Xbox Series X has technology not yet available in PCs. I didn't say it. That's what they said. Now, 
more than likely I know a PC dude did click on this video because I titled it Xbox Series X more powerful than PCs I know you clicked on it and more than likely the graphics card you have is at least a year or two or even three or four outdated bro I still have a 980 Ti in my um, PC because I just use it for um, streaming and my, my YouTube stuff I don't use it for gaming the Xbox Series X runs circles around a 980 Ti bro it's, it's more than likely running circles around the graphics card you have in your PC right now boy that's what the experts are saying, not me. And I know what you dudes are like, so much, Obi Wan. In about a year, there's going to be graphics cards on the market more powerful than your Xbox Series X. Yeah, for about six hundred, seven hundred, a thousand, maybe even two thousand dollars. It's going to be more expensive. This is why I've always been a console gamer. You get the most bang. For your buck why these are produced in mass bulk and because microsoft sony nintendo well nintendo ain't going for no power microsoft sony they order their parts in bulk it becomes cheaper for the consumer and so we can get a relatively powerful graphics card in our consoles for a cheaper price I'm just saying bro so so what I've been like two years your PC leaps frogs my Xbox Series X you know what Microsoft has been doing lately iterative upgrades what do I mean in about two or three years I say about three closer to three years we're probably gonna get Xbox Series X Pro <laughs> that's what they're gonna do they've been doing iterative upgrades and so by the time, um, the graphics ain't even going to be outdated because they future-proof the console. But by the time new technology arrives, AMD has something better to offer. Microsoft, this is why I'm, I'm liking Microsoft. They're going to give us the best quality gaming experience as far as tools, assets available for developers. When the new technology arrives, Microsoft is going to be on it and deliver another powerful console that will still play the Xbox Series X games, but <coughs> have the latest technology, bro, on in a console form factor where I don't have to worry about uh, installing drivers and constant upgrade. My, my console upgrade, PC can upgrade quietly too on the sleep mode, but I, I be having so many issues with like crashing and all that stuff with PC. I don't have to worry about that, bro. I just push the power button and play, bro. And with the solid state drive, the um, with the speeds that that's gonna be super fast, I can just um, boot up my my console, get right into my game and game, bro. All right, before we head out, man, just a quick quick other news items I do want to hit y'all with, bro. The Xbox Series X. GPU source code has been stolen and it's being held for ransom for a hundred million a hundred million dollars for according to this hacker. They're threatening Microsoft. You don't pay me a hundred million dollars a hundred million dollars, they're gonna leak the source code, which means that it'll be easy for dudes to hack, do all kinds of things with the console. I don't think Microsoft's too much worried about that. Cause dudes are gonna hack consoles anyway, bro. That happens all the time. So more than likely this dude's gonna get caught. Alright, next news item, um, games, 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 games. A new trailer for Rogue Squadron just dropped. This game is going to be cross-play with the Nintendo Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation 4. 4v4, third-person tactical shooter. This game is going to be high on my to playlist. Uh, I think the early beta codes have, all, have been announced to go out, but I can't just wait. I can't wait for this game to launch. It's going to be a free-to-play game too, man. Um, shout out to High Res Studios. They make quality shooters. The same dudes that make Paladins making this game so you know it's going to be lit. Free games on Xbox. Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. Now free. On, well, it's not free. It's on Game Pass. New games have been added to Game Pass. If you have a Game Pass subscription, 
Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, Ace Combat 7, and Bleeding Edge, bro. Bro, I'm loving Bleeding Edge right now, bro. Really, really liking this game. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi1Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later.